actually played this game in a while, but I'm going to play it now because it's recently they revealed the, uh, they revealed a spin-off, basically. It's not really a sequel, but, you know, whatever. It'll be nice to play as Miles. The game is quite literally called Spider-Man Miles Morales, so I'm gonna have to turn that audio down. Or, guess not, I fucking... I forgot I had it muted because I usually listen to music when I play this game. <sighs> Ignore my fucking dirty ass hair. I know I need to wash it. It's really long. It gets kind of greasy really easily. kind of just screwing around in the game itself. I've, uh, I don't know how long shit, three weeks. I kind of lost a lot of interest in it after not hearing anything about a sequel or anything for a long time. A lot of people are saying that um, it's too early for a sequel or anything because of the fact that this game was released in 2018 and it's only been two years. People are saying that 2020 is way too early, but honestly I think it's a perfect release time. And even then, it's late 2020, so they'll have a lot of time to work things out with that spinoff. Which people are treating as a straight-up sequel, which it really isn't. Insomniac has straight-up come out and said that it's a spinoff. I'm assuming it's to hold us over until 2021, because I still don't think that it's going to be this year that a sequel comes out because if it does then there's no point um, yes I realize I need to shave but anyway the reason I am playing this I got this game very late in its release not very, very late, but like late enough to where everybody else had it and I didn't, except for my friends. Like, it's basically this, it was the situation of I didn't have a job at the time, and so I didn't really have a way to buy games for myself, aside from a straight up check from the government. And that's just not really enough to pay the bills or anything. But, uh, anywho. Yeah, I know that's kind of stupid to say. I don't know why I say it. And then there's all these protests and riots going on. Did you guys hear about that? It's honestly crazy how much 2020 is going through right now with the COVID-19 and then the death of George Floyd. Um, my stance on that situation is that people are saying that this is all going down, the riots, the protests, that this is all going down because of George Floyd and only... It is much more than that. Police have been... I am a stand... I stand behind a cab. All cops are bastards. I honestly agree with that. 
I don't want to get political because that's not my kind of thing, but when it comes to this whole protest and riot thing going on, I stand behind the ACAP thing and the Black Lives Matter movement because cops should have stopped killing people of color a long time ago. And the fact that people are rioting now is purely because of it's been going on for so long and there hasn't been any change. So this is people's way of saying there needs to be a change or we're going to start doing something. And they did. They started doing something about it because they were sick and tired of it. And honestly, I'm sick of it too. It's not fair that black people get killed for no reason other than police believe that they look like criminals. I don't know if George Floyd was on drugs. I don't know if George Floyd was doing any actual crimes. Allegedly, he was using counterfeit money, but that's allegedly, and we need to understand that. Do I stand behind people that do actual crimes? No. No, I don't. Do I believe that the riots are crimes? Yes. But here's the thing. Martin Luther King himself said, Riots are the language of the unheard. Had we been heard a long, long time ago, then the police wouldn't have these issues. I'm not a political person, and I've seen a few, not a lot, definitely not a lot, but I've seen a few people saying that the only reason Insomniac is releasing a spinoff with a black character is because they're trying to pander to the current situation. and. Excuse me for my French, obviously, but that's just fucking stupid. It has nothing to do with that. It's just a video game, and we need to keep it as that. Just a video game. Is there going to be some political commentary in the game? I don't know. But if there is, then as long as it's not straight up, flat out, yeah, Miles, Black Lives Matter or something, then I'm fine. Like, drop subtle hints, maybe, but don't, like, put it out there on your chest. Because that's just gonna cause more and more hate. As for the sequel spinoff, as for this spinoff they're releasing... I am still extremely hyped over the trailer, yes, but I'm also keeping my hopes down a bit, because that's just how I am with Spider-Man games in general. I had this issue in 2012 and 2014 of getting my hopes up before buying both of the games that came out for the Amazing Spider-Man series. I got my hopes up for the first one, and in general, that game was just okay. It wasn't, you know, something to be remembered, but it wasn't something I could ever forget, if that makes any sense. But then the sequel dropped two years later when I was 15, or 14, probably 15. But... When that game dropped, I had my hopes up. I went out, bought the game, played it nonstop, and by the end of the story, I was completely hooked, yes. But then I played more, and I 100 percent of the game, and I realized that it was just a downplayed version of the sequel. 
Beanox or Activision or whoever works on that worked on those games were losing the license to it, I believe, and that's why it was so rushed. But to me, that is no excuse to release an unfinished product. That's like if my store near me lost all contact with, I don't know, the people that shipped the Mountain Dew cans or whatever. And instead of, you know, just trying their best to bring in a better product, they drop it and give us water. I know that's a bad comparison, and oh my god, I really took them out fast. I know that's a bad comparison, but it's just, you can't release an unfinished game. Either make a deal and try harder on the game, or drop the game, cancel it, because there is no reason to release an unfinished product like that. Activision and Beanox. Beanox specifically have a mostly okay history with Spider-Man games. The first Amazing Spider-Man game was honestly pretty okay. And Shattered Dimensions and Edge of Time, I honestly saw it as two masterpieces, Shattered Dimensions more so. And when it came to the Amazing Spider-Man series, I expected the same. I expected a perfect game with perfect stories and perfect characters. I didn't expect any less from Beanox because I saw a good history. Yeah, a child shouldn't even care, but to be honest, even I could tell that I was getting my hopes up way too high. Because when The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out, just by the cover and the trailer, I had this sinking feeling in my chest like, oh wow, they really dropped the ball on this one, didn't they? And when I did get the game and I realized that it was just an inferior version of the first, I knew, like, this is it. This is it for Beanox. They're not making another Spider-Man game. This is the last one. I played the game before I saw the movie, which was a very, very bad idea on my part, I'll admit. But then I saw the movie, and I realized once again, oh no, this company is never making another Spider-Man movie. This is it. This ruined Spider-Man. Then I got my hopes up a few years later with Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and honestly, I like him. Out of all three Spider-Man actors, I prefer Tom Holland because he feels like a good mix of Peter Parker and Spider-Man, if that makes any sense. The way I see things is... Tobey Maguire was not Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire was Peter Parker dressing up as Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield was not Peter Parker. He was Spider-Man 24-7 even before he got bit by the spider. And it's just... Those two actors never really got a handle on mixing the two personalities. You could blame the writers. You very well could, because the, honestly, it's probably their fault. But... The way Andrew Garfield handled the role was mostly okay to me at the time. Rewatching the movies, I have realized very slowly, I have realized that... They are subpar compared to the Tom Holland movies. But if I had to choose between Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield at movie night, I'd 
honestly pick Andrew Garfield because when I watch the Amazing Spider-Man movies, I feel like there's more at stake than there is in the Tobey Maguire movies. Because the Tobey Maguire movies have this problem, had this problem, where right at the end of the movie they kill off the villain. And in Spider-Man 3, they did the same thing, except for Sandman. For whatever reason, other than his daughter dying. I mean... Don't get me wrong, I grew up with Tobey Maguire, not Andrew Garfield or Tom Holland, obviously. And when I was a kid... I always thought Tobey Maguire was always going to be Spider-Man. And when he was replaced with Andrew Garfield, I was confused until Google was finally, you know, this juggernaut of a search engine. And when I looked it up, it just said something about a back injury or something. I think it was something about Sam Raimi leaving Spider-Man behind because just because of the fact that they were trying to change his movie way too much. He had this plan and they wanted to change it to where there were even more villains than in Spider-Man 3. And that's not okay by the way, never do that. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 made the same mistake and we all saw how that went. But at least The Amazing Spider-Man 2 had the balls to kill off Gwen Stacy. That's something the Tobey Maguire movies didn't really do with any characters aside from Uncle Ben. And then there's this game. Which not only had the guts to change Spider-Man almost entirely... But it had the guts to kill Aunt May. Spoiler alert. Sorry about that. They killed Aunt May off. In our first introduction to this version of her, they killed her off. And I completely respect Insomniac for, for doing something that drastic. Why do I respect them? Because no one else has ever had the guts to do that in any Spider-Man movie or game. You can count the Spider-Man PS1 games due to the fact that she doesn't exist in them completely because, yeah, she's dead. She's dead in the PS1 games. If you read one of the comic book covers, it said that she reveals at the end of that comic that she always knew, just like in the game. But, um... And then there's the theories about the spinoff. People are wondering and asking Insomniac over and over, just because this is a spinoff, are we still going to see the Green Goblin? Are we going to see Venom? Are we going to see Carnage? Or da 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 We're not. In my honest opinion, I don't think we're really going to see any super important characters I think I don't unfortunately I don't think Shocker's coming back and that's unfortunate for me because I honestly he's one of my favorite villains I know Shocker sucks but honestly that's why he's my favorite villain one of my favorite villains my all time favorite villain used to be Black Cat until she kinda just became an anti-hero but now my all-time favorite villain has to be Carnage. Purely because of how ruthless he is. You can't... To me, you can't name a more ruthless villain. Even... I think Carnage killed a baby once. Even the Joker didn't do that. Unless he did, and I just don't re fucking remember, but... Um... One of the things I will say that this game kind of neglects to do right is the wall crawling 
if I can find a proper building, I will give you an example of what I mean. <laughs> because... <sighs> the thing with Spider-Man's wall crawling is it's a staple of his abilities. You can't just take it away or mess it up. And in my personal opinion, Insomniac messed it up a little. Um, I think... Yeah, this is what I mean right here. This. I'm not insulting Insomniac, but I feel like this could have been, you know, fixed. It honestly feels like an afterthought kind of thing. Why the hell can I not run on this wall? Another thing I don't really like about this game is some of the suits. Don't get me wrong, I love almost all of the suits, and I love certain things about the suits that I don't really like that much. But, okay. There are suits that I don't like. This suit, for example, the damaged classic suit, that doesn't look damaged to me, that looks dirty. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple tears on the front and the legs, but that's about it. There's nothing else there. And... Another one that I don't like, not because of the way it looks, but because of the way you unlock it. Imagine going through hours and hours of gameplay and hard work, and then just unlocking Spider-Man in his underwear and mask. I much rather would have had, like, a version of Peter Parker. Like him in his base clothing for when he goes into Feast or something. There's other suits that I don't like, but I don't really... Okay, this one. I'm not... I like the way this looks, but my problem with it is the mouth doesn't move at all. And I don't know why. Spider-Man... The Amazing Spider-Man 2 could do it. I don't know why Insomniac couldn't do this. <sighs> Another one I don't hate, but also don't like... I mean, love is this. I like the way it looks. I like the colors. Almost everything about this. The reason I'm not a fan is because we've seen it in almost... We've seen it in so many Spider-Man games before, and I don't think it needed to be here. Like, I think this could have been used for something else. Like, maybe the, ben Ry the second Ben Riley suit. The one that actually looks like a Spider-Man costume. Um, another, one of the redesigns I don't like for the villains is what they did with Hammerhead at the end of the Silver Lining DLC. I think they could have done a lot better with that because, for God's sakes, they turned him into like a 10 foot tall cyborg and I don't see why. What is the point in doing something like that? I don't feel like there was any good reason to turn him into a cyborg. Just keep him as a mafia guy. Like, keep some of the armor, but don't, like, overdo it. The sad part is, what he did to himself was permanent, so if we see him in the spinoff... I guarantee he's still going to look like that, and tons of people aren't going to be happy about it. I forgot about the other civilians. Fuck. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, I gotta remember to text my dad. Don't know what time it is right now. Almost two o'clock. Um... I'm probably going to do maybe another drawing video soon, but the way I do my drawings is something I should elaborate on. The way I do it is I draw on a sheet of paper, I take a picture of the sheet of paper, and then I just... 
I trace that picture in an app that's quite literally just called Sketch. A lot of people call a lot of people use Procreate, but I do not for whatever reason. I don't enjoy it. I just think Sketch is easier to use. Um God, I don't know how long I'm gonna be streaming, probably only an hour. Because I do want to text my dad, see if he wants me to come over there. Maybe see if he's got any work for me. I do need some money right now. I'm not trying to like bum off my dad or anything. I'm just trying to I lost my wallet and I need my ID. I need another ID. I need to I need at least forty dollars to go out and get another one because I seriously I don't know where my wallet is. <laughs> I looked under my bed, I looked everywhere, and I just cannot find it. But, okay. I think I'm going to do one of Taskmaster's things real quick. Let's see if I can find one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of... Oh, God, my neck. Another reason my hair is really messy is because I was wearing a mask earlier. <laughs> which you can see in my profile picture for YouTube. I just got hit by a car. <laughs> and I just got shot. I shouldn't let these guys get away. I better fucking speed things up. I wish I could find my wallet, seriously. I recently lost my job and I need to go and get another one. There's a Walmart in my town, that's kind of my only option right now. There's a bakery too, but I'm not really supposed to be around things like that because of my anxiety and their only position is a cashier and I can't handle people. <laughs> it's due to autism. <sighs> To be perfectly honest, I'm probably going to end the stream in about three minutes because I just don't, I don't have a lot of time on my hands. Okay, I am done with your bullshit, sir. Nobody's really coming around anyways, I'm kind of just talking to myself here, but obviously you're going to be able to watch the stream after it's done too but yeah around the 30 minute mark I'm going to end the stream nothing like a high speed chase to keep a guy on his toast <laughs> it's obviously a joke but you know I'm not funny so okay to be perfectly honest I'm just going to end the stream here because I need to look for my wallet again, and I also need to go to the store with what money I have left. So, I don't know, bye, I guess. That's all I really can say.